Hello everybody. How are you? Hope you're wet. Oh, one second. Yeah, wee blackbird comes to the door, taps the door, and he wants fed. To a mouthful, we wee bag of raisins there, and uh, there's a few of them. They're lovely, cheeky wee bastards. If you leave the back door open, they'll, they'll come right into the house. There's many of the have come down or, or come in, and after the back door's been laid open, and there's been a trail of shit all the way across the house, because they sort of get a wee bit nervous when they get in, and they lose control of them. So. I reckon. But anyway, how are you? Hope you're all well. Um, we're doing good. Just uh, we update for you. Um, a few gigs coming up. Um, we we're gonna we're planning on going back into the studio. Put some more stuff down on the the recordings for the new record. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and we're going away, so we'll, we'll, we'll go through them. So the first thing that's happening is the Kilkenny Roots Festival. Oh no, that's not a good picture. Where's the picture there? There. That one. The Kilkenny Roots, uh, the 4th and 5th of May. They're in Kilkenny, obviously. Um... We're playing Ryan's Bar and Billy Burden's Bar on the 4th and the 5th, respectively. Uh, both of those gigs are free, in, actually. So, from what we've been told, the word on the street uh, is that these are going to be well attended. There's a bit of a buzz going about these shows. So, if you wanted to go to those, please do come and see us. Um, we'll get down early and yeah we were supposed to play three shows we're only doing the two now unfortunately but we're really looking forward to it and then we're talking about doing a, an in store in Roller Coaster Records as well um, so yeah so that's good um, looking forward to that and then the following week, we're playing in the Deer's Head in Belfast for the Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival. And it is a rare daytime gig. See the dates there? Uh, I think it's £12 for a ticket. It's not much. And kids under 12 go free. So you should, if you've got young ones, <coughs> bring them. I'd love to see them. Bring your defenders. Not the sticky in the ear ones, the over the ear ones. You can't get those things in kids' ears, and a lot of them don't like them. Make it a bit uncomfortable. So if you can get those wee over the ear ear defenders, go for that. Um, but bring them. Don't don't not come because you got a kid with you. Bring a kid with you. Under twelves go free. Go to the Cathedral Quarter. Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival website, cqaf.com. I think it is. And get your tickets. They're going well. Apparently they're selling well. So yeah, hopefully it'll sell out. We'll see. Um, yeah. And then the following two weeks after that, we go away to Finland. There's it there. It's now the only thing I'm going to read off this poster is... The name of us, the name of the gig, which is Mrs. Rooster. You can see that and the date, the first of June. So that's uh, that's a month away, rough, uh, maybe five six weeks away. Um, we got the tickets booked, the flights with the book the flights yesterday. We fly from Dublin <coughs> on the Friday, and we play on the Saturday, and we come home on the Sunday. Because it's not in Helsinki. We've played Helsinki before, actually. 
It was good. Well, we never really got to see much. We sort of end from the airport, gig, and then hotel, and then out again. Um, but it, it, it looked nice. It was snowing. It was Finland. Uh, so looking forward to going. Now this place is, I think it's 200 kilometres, I'd say, away from the airport. So it's not just as convenient as Helsinki. So that's why we're flying in on a Friday. Apparently it's going to be much easier. Francis has given off. What? What? I don't know. Uh, but this one, it's going to be class because we're playing. It's not just us. It's a wee mini festival. So you've got the Bonnevilles, Kettle, Todd Day Wait. I don't, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of those. And Pat Reedy. I know who Pat Reedy is. And DJ Kiatis Kaisa. Again, I said I wasn't going to read any Finnish words, and I did. I tried to, and I'm sure I absolutely minced it. So yeah, so Finland for the boys. The beginning of June. It's going to be good, and we're going to get to hang out with our buddies. Kiatis and Sarah has threatened to beat us up. And... I might not go now because I don't want to get beat up by Sarah from Kettle because she's an awful bully. She can be a real bitch, that thing. Yeah. We, we hung out with her last year uh, at um, Red Oak Fest in Germany. It was great fun. We spent the weekend. It was just brilliant. We had great crack. Drank far too much alcohol. And we had but we had lots of laughs. It was good. So, yeah. So, there's that. And loads of, loads of gigs, like. So there's this one. For me, with Mandy Bingham and, Gr and Graham. Here at the house uh, for Chuck Kyo. You know that uh, I do these gigs. Um, put them on the house. Chuck Kyo, music house. And uh, I, well, you know, we invite someone down and I'll support them. And we sell 20 tickets. And we, we empty out the, the downstairs and uh, put the seats out. It's been great. We've had the Breeze, the full band of the Breeze. Talk more about them in a minute. Um, the, uh, we had the, a few weeks ago, Attila the Stockbroker. He was on tour and he came through. Joseph Toman, Connor White, who's on tour, are going on tour soon. And a few others. It's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. Barry Cure, Laura and Donna. <coughs> that was magical. That was a really magical one. Despite Barry having a, a wicked hangover. Um so yeah, so we do these gigs. Mandy Bingham is the next one. So go to the Bonneville's website, the Bonneville's.co.uk. You'll get links for all of these. Um actually when I when I finish this video, I'll go and update those on the website. And uh, that one is the 18th of May. Uh, gig start, doors open at 7. You come into the house, we welcome you. We bring your own. And we're finished by 10. And then we all walk around to the Woodville and have a few pints. And that's great. So there's a load of gigs happening. Over the next month. For us. And again, writing away. Writing like a madman. I'll find you the thing about the breeze. Uh, so they're playing in the town. Or is the da, 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 is that it? No. So the break anyway. So the break. You know who the breeze are, right? The breeze are Stevie Scullion's new band. And a super group, an alt folk Americana type super group if you will sorry I'm trying to find the, the actual dates but basically they're playing the town hall here in Lurgan on Saturday another daytime gig so young ones can go to this and it's a town hall it doesn't have a bar or anything like that so anybody can attend obviously it's such a shame though fuck that great venue great room really really great room and if they put a fucking bar in it, you'd be able to have full-on gigs. But anyway, I can't find 
the thing here, um, let me see, link tree. Uh, Lurgan, there we go. Breeze at Lurgan Town Hall. Third, Saturday, thirteenth of April. Oh fucking hell! Where is it? Oh, three o'clock. Can you see that? Yeah. Three o'clock, Lurgan Town Hall. Go to the break. Go to the Mel Melogian. Stevie's Instagram or website or whatever and you go to his link tree that's how I got that and you'll be able to get a ticket for that me and Jeannie are going up we'll see you up there if you're going to go and why wouldn't you that's this Saturday it's very important you remember that don't be getting your dates wrong it's this Saturday coming which is tomorrow today's Friday yeah fuck so it's tomorrow yeah Um. so we'll see you there it's, and um that's going to be class. I'm really looking forward to that. So the breeze played here in our house for Chuck Yo. Remember? It was nuts. The whole band on uh, uh, on the stage that we built at the, just back here. It was really cool. So of course, they're pros, so they can make it work. Oh, full, full drum kit and all. It was fucking class. It was really cool. You'll dig it. So, as you know, we like to do Culture Vulture. Culture Vulture Corner. As Freeps called it. So we're gonna go just a couple of records this this video. And one of these artists you will definitely have heard of, and one of them you may not have. But um actually I just have to check. I think one of them might be on tour right now in Ireland. Let me just do a wee search. I, I, I should have had this all so it's all done but that would imply that there was any sort of thought or planning put into this which I can assure you there is not so let me just see for dates no yeah, no, she was, the person I want to tell you about was, she just left, she was in Ireland and she just left. So, the first record is this, one of my favourite bands, Cypress Hill, and this is their first album, and it's got on it classics, like Pigs. How I could just kill a man, etc., etc. Latin lingo and all that. Stoned is the way of the walk, and it's a very it's it's their first record, and it's sort of before they get to the second and third record to get to go into you know, go to Black Sunday and all that. Um, insane in the brain is on that one, which is a further development of their style. But this is a this is a the early early stuff. And it's just not as dark. And I'm not going to say it's my favourite album of theirs because they've got so many records and I love them. I, lo I just love Cypress Hill. I fucking love Cypress Hill. Um, but it has, a so it has this song on it here. Second last record. Or second last song here. It's called Treas Equi. Can you see that? And it's just the funkiest little groove ever. And I remember the first, I remember where I was when I first heard that, this record. I was working, it was back in the 90s, and I was working on building sites in the Isle of Man, that little island in between England and Ireland. Uh, there was loads of, all loads of Irish builders and loads of boys in the town, including my own father and <coughs> uncle and cousins and stuff. And me and my brother went over there just to labour on the building sites and we did labour and it was it was hard work. I'm not gonna say it was a it was a particularly enjoyable time of my life. I feel like it was just sort of a holding a bit of, in a bit of a holding pattern back there. 
I think was the trouble still on, but people maybe this had the ceasefire. The ceasefire, no, the troubles were still on. The ceasefires hadn't been called, and the thought of coming home and stuff and whatever. But um, <clears throat> I remember I was playing football. I used to be quite good at football, believe it or not. Um, before I fucked my knee up. Um, and I, there was a team called the Douglas Royals. They were very good. And my brother, Desi, he went down to training and he said, do you want to come down? And I said, yep. I went down for training and I ended up getting selected to play for the seconds. And, um, but when anyway, while I was waiting, so on the Saturday, we were, we were working that day in Ramsey. So we were living in Douglas. And we had to drive across the mountain to Ramsey to get to work. And we were, it was a Saturday morning. And rather than me drive back, the, the match that the, that the Douglas Royals were playing was in Ramsey that day, that afternoon. So we were in to just to do a half day. So we were finished for, by lunchtime. So rather than me drive all the way back to Douglas to drive back to Ramsey, I just sort of hung around the town, brought my football gear with me, hung around the town <clears throat> and waited to get picked up by the boys in the team who I'd, who I'd, I'd just met. I didn't know when he met them that week. And um, <clears throat> there was a record shop and I went into it and I bought, well, this, but it was on CD. Or maybe it was tape. Maybe it was cassette tape. I'm trying to, I think it might have been cassette tape. So I bought this and back in the day when you would do that, you would buy a record or a CD or whatever just based on the sleeve. Or there was something that would just tickle your, you would go, what is this? You don't even know what it was. I think I'd been aware of Cypress Hill. I'd been, I think maybe their second album had come out already, but this was, this was the one that was in the record shop. I can't remember, but anyway, I bought, so I bought this. And I'm standing on the side of the road and I was listening to it in my earphones and I was blown away. I just love it. And, and I obviously this is a newer. I bought this up in Derry a couple of years ago just to have it in my record collection. I have the CD of it still. Um Yeah, it was a CD, because I have the CD. So yeah, so there you go. So there it is. Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill, Cypress Hill, it's their first one, get it, it's really funky, it's a lot of fun, I love it, it's brilliant, and whenever I hear it, I'm always sort of transported back to that period of my life, which was me. it was neither here nor there, but this was one of the, the bright moments of it, so, the sack, so you've obviously heard of Cypress Hill, but you may not have heard of this girl you may have you may not have I don't know let's find out so Cinderwell and I've got both of these records she's a new record I haven't got it this this is her first one this is her second one and she's a third not long released which I haven't got which I will get so She's, she just did a load of dates there in Ireland and I wanted to get down to one of them and I wasn't able to. And that's where I would have picked the record up and would have got her to sign it. She signed these for me. We, I, I, I seen her play in the, um, the Dunkern up in Belfast. And I heard first heard her, our friends, uh, MT and Phil, me and Jeannie uh, were in their house one time. We were staying over for dinner, we used to stay for dinner and drinks and hanging out and um, they had this on and I, who's that, what's that and they said that's Cinderwell and then turned out she was playing a few weeks later, a few months later, a couple of months later up in the Dunkirk and she had the, the guy that plays fiddle, can't remember his name, with Lancome, was playing fiddle with her as well and a harmonium player and her on guitar and her voice, absolutely beautiful playing in the Dunkirk, a sit down gig, gorgeous, so I bought both the records, absolutely wonderful, 
Um, so go check her out. Folky, Americana, bit Irishy. She studied, I think she studied music or something in Cork University. Um, something like that. I, I know she has a massive connection to Ireland. She's from California, I believe. And go grab her records. If you can't, see her name there. Cinder, well, Cinder as in Cinderella, C-A-N-D-E-R, well, W-E-L-L. I do not know what Cinderwell is. It's not her name. Her name is Amelia Baker. Yeah. So Cinderwell is the name of the band or her alter ego. I'm not sure which. So, yeah. So go and check those out. So there we go. That's us done. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you have a good day. Um, I'm going to go out to the studio and... Uh, I should have done this video in the studio and everything thought. Um, I'm going to go out to the studio, do some writing. I need to do some work. I'm working on uh, my solo stuff. And as I put a post up on Instagram the other day, I'm going to stop working on my solo stuff and just work on the Bonneville stuff. Because I realise, I read a great phrase from, I don't know who it was, but somebody says, quality comes from depth not breadth and I realised that what I've been doing was spread myself a little bit too thin to the detriment of everything else so what I'm going to do I've got one thing I need uh, it's an itch I need to scratch I'm going to finish it it's the title track from my my new solo record um, Northern Gothic 2 Letters to a Young Rebel and I'm, I've got the lyrics and all done I've got everything done I've got the format done everything's ready to go of, of the song made, it's all recorded. Um, so I just want to get it finished. I'll get it finished, and then I'm I'm, I'll be moving on. I'll be doing it today. So I'm going to do the studio today. I'll do a little bit of work on it, and then I'm going to do some Bonneville stuff. Um, and then once I get this track finished, which will be this weekend, hopefully, um, that's me done with the solo stuff. I'm going to park it for a few months until I get. The Bonneville's record finished because it needs done. There's a lot to do, and we need to put the work in because the world demands a new Bonneville's record, right? Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But that's me. We're done. So we've got the Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival. No, sorry, the uh, Kilkenny Roots Festival with free gigs. Don't forget that they're free. So if you want to come, come, please do. But get there early. What do you want? Francis has given up. Nothing wrong with you. You're looking something. She's hanging off the side. She's called. She's hanging off the side of the cage at me. So she's looking something. I'm off to go see if her water needs changed or something. Um. Kilkenny Roots Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival. Don't forget, that's a daytime gig. Kids under twelve go free. Bring your defenders. Um, then we've got Chuck Cole here at the house with the wonderful Mandy and Graham Bingham. Go to the Bonneville's website. I'll update all that now. Um, and then we're going to Finland to play that festival. And we're going to have a, a cage fight with Sarah from Kettle, which is going to be class. I'm not a black eye in ages. So let's, uh, so yeah, so there we go. And uh, check out those records and talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.